Aloha, I'm Wendy Lowe, and I'm excited to journey with you as we learn how to take your health back. Today, we will hear from Monty Pereira, who works for a 75-year-old company called Watanabe Floral, who has been bringing joy through flowers. Monty will share with us how flowers impact health and wellness and how Watanabe Floral, their mission and their values make them who they are. And that's so important that they had those core values and they stuck to it. And that gave them 75 plus years of longevity. So let's welcome Monty Pereira. Aloha, Hi, Wendy. Monty. Great to, Aloha, great to be here with you folks today. Yeah, I was so excited when I walked in your store and I said, I gotta share what your flowers do to me and to all the other recipients of your beautiful flowers. So I want to just jump right in and get to the story of what's behind Watanabe Floral and yourself. But before Sounds we get like started, Monty, just share a little bit about who you are. Who's Monty? Well, you know, I'm born and raised in Hilo. I'm a Hilo boy. I came here for college at the University of Hawaii, majored in accounting. I'm a CPA by trade. Uh, as you can see in the picture, I'm married. My wife is an administrator at Mid-Pacific Institute. I have two daughters. My older daughter is in law school at Seattle University. My younger daughter, Crystal, um, is in her sophomore year at Grand Canyon University majoring in business management. So I've been at Watanabe Floral now for about 24 and a half years, first as the accountant and now as the general manager and sales and marketing director, which is a better fit position wise for my personality versus what you think an accountant is. <laughs> exactly. And to me, you're the face of Watanabe, Watanabe Floral because for as long as I've been in business, you've been there and promoting. And I was like, hey, but I don't look like one Watanabe, but you act <laughs> like a family, the ohana of the family. And so I'm just so uh, honored to have you on the show today. So let's dive right in about, uh, about your flowers and your arrangements. I know that study shows that floral or flowers impact happiness. Is that true, Monty? It, re it really is true. And I think it has never been more true than in the last 18 months, you know, since COVID struck. Um, there have been studies by Harvard, by Texas A&M, and a number, number of other universities that show a 30% increase in happiness and mood and in productivity in the office just by having flowers and plants around. So there is definitely an impact uh, between flowers and, and how it makes you feel, especially first thing in the morning, you get out of bed, you see the flowers there on the table, you instantly, your mood changes to the positive. Um, 30 to 40% happier if you have flowers in the home. Yay, that's a good, good piece to share. I mean, we want happiness and joy, especially when we wake up every day. And thank you for bringing that to many people's homes and offices. So Monty, I know that you've been at Watanabe for, for, 20, for 24 and a half years. Please share with us a little history about this exceptional company called Watanabe Floral. Well, it started 75 years ago by Mr. Ernest Watanabe. He had just returned from his stint in World War II. Just before World War II, he and Mrs. Shizui Watanabe were supposed to get married. So when he was deployed in Australia, right outside his barracks, he thought, hey, there's so many of us that are in this boat that are going to get married when we come back. People are going to need flowers. So right there outside his barracks, he started to grow roses outside the barracks in Australia just to get uh, get it perfected. And then when he came back in, in the Kahala area where Kahala Mall now stands is where their house was. It was Farmer's Row. He started growing roses right there. It expanded into Hawaii Kai, where Kaiser High School now stands. And then it expanded into both Wainai and Nililani. We had two nurseries. Um, and then when Wainai became too small, we had 18 acres on the Big Island as well. But since uh, it's been around 20 years since we stopped growing flowers, and we're now the largest importers of flowers in the state. So um, the company has changed from a grower to a wholesaler to a wholesale retail mass marketer. Um, and our main showroom for one standalone location is one of the largest floral retail operations in the entire country. So completely a lot of evolving, but that's the nature of business, right? You either adapt and change or you get left behind. Wow, what a history in a nutshell. That's beautiful. And it started with roses. So Monty, are roses your best seller? They still are. I mean, it used to be, it was 90% of our business. And, and now it's no longer that big a chunk of our business because we're not growing anymore. But I think, especially at major holidays like Valentine's Day, I think for most men, especially men, middle-aged men and older, all they know is roses. So they feel like if they grab roses, they're always going to be safe. <laughs> 
So roses are, are still probably the number one seller, but it's not nearly as pronounced as it once was. Wow. That's easy, right? You know, you especially when the guys mess up or they forget something, get a dozen roses. That'll make yep. her happy. And it does. And, you know, nine times out of ten, it'll be okay. All is forgiven. Let's carry on, honey. So <laughs> <laughs> you're the resolver right there, the uh, homemaker, the happiness in the homemaker. So I know that Chef Chai has the most beautiful uh, arrangements every time we dine into his restaurant. And he enjoys putting all the flowers himself in, together in these most beautiful arrangements. But he tells me that he visits your shop almost weekly to check out your amazing selections. What would be one of the most exotic or flowers that you carry up to date? Well, Chef Chai has been a customer of, of ours for many, many, many years. Um, but you're right. He loves to put things together on his own. In terms of exotics, I mean, there's tropical flowers. I mean, most people in Hawaii expect to have a prevalence of tropical flowers, and we certainly have those. Um, but we have over 2,000 SQs uh, at our store, different flowers that come into season from different times. So I think flowers that are not well known that are extremely popular would be things like peony, uh, which is more of a spring type seasonal flower. Uh, garden roses, which has that look of a peony, um, are, are two things that come to mind that are a little bit more not mainstream flowers than most people know about. Wow. You know, um, Chai sent me down there and that's when I got to see and visit with you, Monty, but mm -hmm. he wanted these flowers and he had an extra. So he let me take it home, but it was this thing. And, you know, I had it in my place, but I just amazed. I'm amazed at these leaves. I've never seen anything like this before. Now it's a couple of weeks old, but it's still um, beautiful. And I'm going to keep it as long as it can, we can. But I'm amazed at the leaves. Do you know what this flower is? That's a protea, you know, so yes. usually most protea comes from the island of Maui. And that's typically where we bring in most of our protea from. But because of COVID and the, and the disturbances in the supply chain, we've had to look elsewhere to support, uh, to support that. So these protea are coming either from California or through Miami from South America. So that's where the exotic leaves that you see on that protea. They're beautiful. And, you know, um, whenever we go to Chai's, I'm like, Chai's, what is, Chai, what is that? He goes, Wendy, just go buy a couple extra. You need some. You take a couple home. So I did. We helped put things together for him. And it was like, wow, everyone's so amazed when they come and see mine. So thank you for bringing it in and having it available to Chai so he can also promote what you do and what you have in your stores. So Yeah, he's amazing. He's a, yeah, I love his floral arrangements. And, you know, he, he, as I said, he goes to you every week, like going to the flowers uh, marts. And uh, that's what you are to him. So I know that you also specialize in supplying many of Hawaii's weddings, as Mr. Watanabe, um, he noticed from the very get-go. Um, I know that you supply a lot of the floral arrangements and bouquets for weddings. But I want to just ask you, how has COVID affected that wedding business for uh, Watanabe Floral? Well, it's definitely had a tremendous impact on the wedding business. And, and I think there are, there are two parts of this. I mean, we still have a wholesale operation and a retail operation. Um, and both of them have suffered during COVID. You know, once weddings were allowed to happen again to some degree back in April, you know, the wedding business exploded again. You know, for that three months, it was just yes. like gangbusters. People had put off weddings for, for quite a period of time. And then it was shut down again in August and is now starting to get back open starting this weekend. So it has had a major impact. You're talking about the wedding industry, those that are predominantly wedding florists that really have only been able to work for four of the last 19 months. Uh, and that has been very, very painful for them. So for us, they buy from us on a wholesale level, similar to what Chai does. Mm -hmm. um, so that has hurt from that perspective. And then as well as our own retail weddings, you know, we're, we're actually hosting brides and grooms. Um, that has been impacted as well. So there, there's no doubt the wedding industry, other than that three or four month small little bubble um, of pent up demand, it has been pretty much non-existent for the last year and a half. Wow. I know you've gone through a lot of waves and I've seen uh, you, you know, the stories that they cover at your store on the news. And so, you know, we're just praying that everybody, every business can get back up and running. And with the holidays coming along, then we'll just have to pray for the best results and the best businesses for everyone to sustain the rest of the year. Yep. You know, uh, when I went to your store, I was amazed and I, I was like, wow, you guys got more than just flowers here. And then I, I, I went back again. So when I recently went back into your store, I wanted to buy a gift for my dear friends, Brian and Scott. And I wanted to give them something that would last 
last a while. So I picked out a living plant arrangement. I saw that you had a great selection. I mean, like amazing tables and tables of uh, greenery and, and a little mini gardens. So do many customers look for life plants for gift giving? Definitely. I think plant, plants have become a lot more popular, especially among millennials and, and that age group. They love the greens. They love the plants. Um, and then what was a real blessing about the plants that we have currently is it allowed us to partner with local farms. So the orchid pots that you see all over our showroom, yes, they're yes. coming from Waianae. And then the, the green pots that, as you see on the screen, whether it be the gardens or the succulents, those are coming from the North Shore. So all of these plants that you see in our showroom that we have available for gift giving or just for your own home are locally made and, and locally grown. So it's a way to support local farmers as well. Wow. So I know that you specialize in making happiness and bringing healthy environments into home and offices with your beautiful floral arrangements and your beautiful plant arrangements. But let's discuss something different again. You know, it's, I keep learning more about Watanabe floral. There's a fresh food market. So yes, please share there is. a little bit about that. I didn't know that one. Well, you know what, what happened was last year around this time, after we were shut down for the second time, the initial shutdown was in April. And then the second shutdown was in August through September. When that shutdown happened last year in August, I made a commitment to my workers and to the Watanabe family that we're not going to get shut down anymore. And if the only way to stay open was to make sure that you had fresh food in the, in the showroom, that's exactly what we're going to do. So we pivoted, we went into fresh foods, we became registered with the state as a food operation, mm -hmm. um, and we started to carry things. Again, the goal was to partner with as many local companies and local people as possible. So most of what you see in our showroom is coming from Eggs Hawaii, which is up the street, uh, and their chickens are out on the west side, and then Aloon Farms provide most of the vegetables that we have. So, yep, for the last year, we've had fresh foods, uh, and we've expanded that line into other things like, like gift baskets and Honolulu Chip Company and Tipresso and other local companies that we've been able to partner with for the last year. So that's going to be a part of Watanabe Floro going forward. Wow, I see a new um, concept and uh, ideas have sprung out in this, this, in, this, in this darkness, I should say. But the main focus I know with Watanabe Floro is that you always uh, want to partner with the local industries and support each other. I think that's what makes Hawaii thrive, even though we are in a different situation right now. So touche for Watanabe Flores and for mm -hmm. all that, all the creative thinking that you put behind it as well, Monty. So um, I know also that Watanabe Flora has been involved with many, many, many nonprofits. Please share with us um, one of these events with the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Well, Make-A-Wish is somebody that we've partnered with a, a number of times over the, over the years. And every year for the month of May, which is by far our biggest month of the year, we use that as an opportunity to showcase a charity, raise money for them, but more so than just actually raising funds like you can see in the check there on the screen, it is raising awareness for an entire month, whether it's on our website, in our showroom with collateral materials for them. And we believe it's so important. We believe it's so important for the community to all band together to help so many people that are in need. Um, so you can see that we work with Make-A-Wish a couple of times this year in the month of May, we work with the American Diabetes Association. Um, we also worked with Helping Hands Hawaii over the summer to generate a, um, a donation drive at our Nimitz showroom for them. Um, but no matter how hard things are, there's always people that are struggling much more than we are. And you can never lose sight of that. And you always have to be willing to continue to do what you can to make the community a better place. And we take that responsibility uh, very, very seriously. And we encourage everybody to do what they can. Wow, mahalo. Mahalo from the communities and for the residents of Hawaii for always having that commitment to serve the community through your business efforts. So mahalo, mahalo nui. I also know that you have an event going on right now because when I was in there, I saw a flyer at the register. So um, it goes on to the uh, end of October. Just share a real quick shout out for them and what they're all about and invite our viewers to participate in it. Well, this month we're working with Child and Family Services. You know, they've been uh, doing numbers of fundraisers and a number of different people. So what we've done is we've identified four of our most popular arrangements and 10% of the proceeds from these arrangements all month of October are going to go back to Child and Family Services. So if you just go to watsonabefloral.com, on the top, you're going to see Child and Family Services Fundraiser. 
click on that. And there's four pieces there. If you order that by the end of the month, again, 10% of the proceeds for those sales will go back to child and family services. So another way to give back and to try to find a way to help people that do a wonderful job for our community. Wow. And I, I got to give a shout out because every year I do the Great Aloha Run <laughs> and the Great Aloha Run, every time we go by Watanabe Forest, Coral, we know that you're going to have your staff and the volunteers out in the front extending their hands. And at the end of their hands are roses, um, moms, whatever you have that you want to share your heart with the participants of the Great Aloha Run. And uh, that's something yeah. that we always look forward to as we approach your building. So thank you for that and making that beautiful morning even more beautiful with that flower that we get to finish the, uh, the finish line with in our hands. So mahalo to Watanabe yeah, no, Floral. No and problem. That's so much every fun. Every year, every year we look forward to that. So thank you so much. Yeah. Um, um, now let's get back to some of the core values of your company. Please share with us some ways that Watanabe Floral incorporates sustainable practices in key aspects of your business. Well, we're always, we're all about the environment and how we can do things. So when we bring in flowers and we choose farms, we always choose farms that have been certified as su sustainable farms. So that's something that's very important. But what can everybody do here locally? Um, and that is to, you know, reuse, repurpose recycle vases. So we encourage people, bring your vases, even if they're not from Watanabe Floral, if they're clean and they're usable, bring them back to Watanabe Floral. We will use them again in, in a piece in the future. But in doing so, you get a credit for your floral purchase. So you can bring in your old vases. We'll immediately give you a credit based on what type of vase it is or how many vases you have. And you can take that credit and buy more flowers right there on the spot to take home and enjoy or to gift to somebody else. So we encourage people. Like I said, it doesn't have to be a Watanabe floral vase, although that would be nice. But it can be any type of vase. As long as it's usable and clean, we'll take it and we'll give you a credit that you can use for flowers. Wow. So did you hear that, Hawaii? <laughs> Hawaii's out there, Chinese out there. Now, don't go to your neighbor's house and raid their vase show. Because, you know, <laughs> I get a lot of vases and floral arrangements uh, from yours uh, when you guys delivered to me in my office in the past. And these vases, you know, we can only reuse so many. So... That's an amazing program. And I always wanted to go and ask you guys, would you take back your vases? You know, like mm -hmm. even when we do dry cleaning, I always keep the hangers and I give it back because it's still good, right? The vases are still good and they're still clean because I wash them in and I dry them out. So mm -hmm. again, anybody out there listening, do you have any old vases just sitting around the house or your office? Start collecting them. And did you know that Watanabe Floral would love to take them back and they're, they're gonna give you a store credit. So that means you'll have enough credit that you can put, maybe you get $5 worth. So that means it's $5 less you have to pay for that dozen of red roses or yellow or rainbow roses. Mm -hmm. And every bit helps, right, Monty? Oh, absolutely. Every little bit helps, you know, so the, the vases help us because there is a supply chain shortage. So we benefit from that. Uh, and then the environment benefits from it. And then, of course, the person who brings it in can benefit by leading with flowers as well. Wow. So the program, um, Rethink, Reuse. Reduce, yep, recycle, reduce, recycle. reuse, recycle. Yeah, there you go. Rethink, yeah. refuse, reduce, reuse, repurpose, recycle. Yep. Yeah, like all that. of the R's. Absolutely. Yeah. Everybody can do their part, especially here in Hawaii. We are an island. We really have to take care of our environment for our keiki. Oh, that's so exciting. I mean, that is the neatest program. And I am hoping that more and more people can hear and understand that. And as well, it may help them so that they can afford to buy more flowers as well as save the environment and helping all of you there at your, your business. Because as you said, the supply chain is getting a little bit, mm, there's some challenges and this will help your business as well. So everybody working together, cool with each other to help everyone thrive and uh, be more happy and be able to receive more beautiful arrangements. So great concept, Monty, great concept. Okay, so I know and uh, that you guys have been thrive striving to reach all the highest levels and uh, we're gonna talk about how you reach that. But I wanted just to say congratulations on receiving the Star Advertiser, Hawaii's Best. I believe it's four years in a row. I'm not sure how far back, but I, I researched it was 2018, 19, 20, and 21 uh, that you received the Hawaii's Best first place and that's an achievement that every little award or accolade because I know when you bring that home to your office to the store it shows not just you know 
your customers, but it gives the pride back to your employees and staff. Exactly. And, and that is to me, kudos to management, um, then to be able to pass that heart on to the, the staff employees so that they can have that pride to continue re uh, reaching those levels that you so in implement and enforce within your, your system. So um, please share with us, uh, your audience, our audience and our viewers, your mission behind your company. Well, absolutely. And I think that's who we are. In terms of the Hawaii's Best Award, we, we've actually won that award since it was created back in 2004 when it was oh. the Star Bulletin. So this is oh. the 18 consecutive oh. years I'm of sorry. this one. No, no, no problem. Oh. Um, but, but you're so right. I mean, it, it, it is not just a symbol just to show off because it's not something that we want to show off just to the public. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's more for our people to be able to have that pride and that sense of accomplishments, which is so important. But our mission is a whole Ho'omao Pono. Uh, Ho'omao means to continue to last, to perpetuate, to be willing to change. Pono means doing things, as we know, with morality and doing things the right way. In the Hawaiian language, when you attach the, the A to it, it becomes a command. So a Ho'omao Pono means to continue to last by doing things with morality all the time, every time. And that's who we are. And then we support that with our core values. The first is the spirit of aloha. We expect to treat everyone with that spirit of aloha with lots of love, whether it be internally to each other or externally to our guests, we expect that kind of treatment. Our second one is people first. And what we mean by people first, and we've kind of already alluded to that, it's not necessarily the customer's always right, that's part of it, but it's more so being selfless and being willing to give, give back to each other, give back to the community, make sure we're putting the guests first, uh, and then providing exceptional service. Good's not good enough, great's not good enough, exceptional is what we strive for. Are we perfect? Of course not, but we strive to do that every time because we want people to feel like they're part of the Watanabe Flora Ohana. So that is our core values, that is our mission, and that is what has led to the success of Watanabe Flora for the last 75 years because every decision is made by going through those checklists, do, can we say yes, yes, and yes to these core values? If we can, the decision becomes really easy and that's the decision we make. So that's who we are and that's what makes us successful. I really believe that. Wow, so not only are you um, uh, aware of what your product when is uh, purchased and brought to the home and office, it, it exudes health and happiness to the recipients, but the health and wellness of your employees are right there in the forefront. And um, um, to me, that's part of the success for Watanabe 75 years in business. So congratulations, job well done, mission accomplished and being mm -hmm. accomplished. So, you know, for the year 2022, do you have um, uh, any uh, great plans or any ideas or concepts that you wanna share or release with us right now when we have some time? Well, right now, what we're doing is we're actually going through a rebrand. So if you, if you pass by Watanabe Floral right now, and some people were doing this about a month ago, and they're like, oh, my gosh, they're shutting down. The building looks like they're shutting down. We're not shutting down. We're repainting the building, getting a little bit more brighter, more modern look. You know, again, exuding that bright and joyful that we have all over our website uh, and our messaging. A new logo that'll be up in the building in the next couple of weeks or so. You can see a preview of that in the, hot, the sign hanging outside. But in terms of business, um, it's continuing to be ready to pivot, continue to try to bring as many people success as we can, advocating for the wedding industry, ad advocating for the events industry, trying to buy as much of our product as we can from local farms, uh, trying to find new farms to partner with, because the success of the state is going to come from us working together to make many, many people successful. So that's the plan. There's nothing major, no major announcements. Uh, it's going to be to continue to do what we do and try and help as many people as we can in the process. Wow, that's good to know that um, you're making that statement known to everyone about beautifying your outward, you know, uh, structure, because that's the first thing, you know, we're thinking, oh, no, right. But now we have something exciting to share. And I'm hoping that the audience will also know that Watanabe is only 75 years young, and we've got a, a lot of future ahead of us. And right exactly. now, what you are going to do is just rebranding and repurposing and just letting people know that we mahalo you, Hawaii, as you mahaloed us by your business and corporation. So let us walk you through the next 100 years in health, happiness, through the products that you purchased from Watanabe Floral. I, I think that is superb. So, uh, Monty, is there any uh, one... Uh, experience that you would like to share with us uh, that gives you the most satisfaction when you were or you are at 
the 24 and a half year mark with Watanabe Floral? I really don't think there's any one thing in particular that stands out. I just think that it's an absolute blessing to be able to do this business where on a daily basis, 90% of the time you're bringing happiness and joy into people's lives. And the other 10%, you're bringing some consolation, whether it be a sympathy or you're bringing some, some cheer, whether it be a get well soon. But for the most part, our drivers are heroes on a daily basis, bringing smiles to everybody that they deliver to. And I just think that's a true blessing because not every business can say that every single day they're making people happy. And that's something that we've got to do for the last 75 years. And we're very, very grateful for that. And all the people of Hawaii. Wow, mahalo. Um, as I was um, going through your website, I noticed um, you're a wealth of information there. And so anyone, just go to their website because what they do is they list all the dates of graduations. And so if you didn't know when your neighbor is going to graduate from Castle or, or Farrington, go on to their website and then you're going to see all the beautiful lays and arrangements that they have. But you'll be informed with all the dates of, of importance and mainly the graduation dates, because sometimes we just don't keep up with all those dates. But the other thought, thing that I thought was very useful on your website was that you had um, current information uh, during COVID time, especially. What were the mandates of the hospitals? Like, what are the requirements and what can you do and what you cannot do with the hospitals when can you deliver? Mm -hmm. Where can you deliver? That was so very thoughtful and so very helpful that um, I'm just encouraging the, the viewers to go and look at that. So you have an idea because we ha I had no idea of all those restrictions. So mm -hmm. that's amazing, Monty. You've done your homework and your staff has done their homework. So job well done. But <laughs> so, wow, you know, there's so much information and so much beautiful and um, joy with the products that you work with, Monty. We just... We want to just encourage everyone to just be more involved with sharing that little aloha through a little flower with the leaves and the colors and the smells. But right now, we've come to an end, and you've been watching Taking Your Health Back on Think Tech Hawaii. Mahalo to Watanabe Floral, General Manager Monty Pereira, for 24 and a half loyal years of dedication. You are certainly a representative, and I'm sure a part of the Ohana of the Watanabes. And um, you are great representatives. Thank you for sharing your knowledge and your mm -hmm. heart with them and with all of us. And thank you for talking story with us and sharing all of the gifts um, through your beautiful flowers. I'm Wendy Lowe, and we'll be back in two weeks with another edition of Taking Your Health Back. Aloha and mahalo, Monty Pereira. <laughs>